We're here with Rupert Bonham, and we are the Showdown Podcast. How's it going? It's going good, man. Going good. Having a great pop card. It's always an important thing. Oh my gosh, yes. So we have a couple questions for you. Okay. And, uh, we hope that first, is there something you want to talk to us about? I heard here. You know, besides our mentoring program, Rupert's Kids, and check out rupertskids.org, 24 years running our mentoring program with no government dollars, no grant dollars, no stimulus dollars, creating a charity that actually is supposed to, is works the way charities are supposed to. It doesn't collect any government dollars, it collects community dollars and spends those 100% on the community, teaching our young men and women how to make a legal living, giving them that sense of self-worth and work ethic, and paying back to the, the community and the system Instead of just trying to beat all our kids into submission, we empower them. Rupert'sKids.org. But that's not even the most exciting thing. The most exciting thing is my new movie coming. This fall, I am doing Fallen Kingdom. I play a character that is... I see, I get excited. I play a character that is that, that trusted advisor to the king that gets kind of knocked down. I, I lose, I fall out of the king's good graces and he throws me in the dungeon for years. I come out of the dungeon looking like that orc character, ready for my revenge. Oh, nice. I cannot wait. Hopefully next year, right at PopCon, we're, promo- we're debuting the movie here. I'm, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go right to DVD. That's a lot of money to get it released out into the theaters. Yeah. And we're hoping for a good B movie. It's like Camelot meets Kill Bill. You darn right! <laughs> that would be great. Have you ever seen a ghost? Uh, I worked as a grave digger in a cemetery for years. One of the original cemeteries here in Indianapolis, Union Chapel Cemetery, even older than Crown Hill. I was the the caretaker for like three, four years. I never saw any ghosts, but oh my gosh, in the old Civil War section where they're, you know, hundreds of years old, there was some really cool little things that would raise the hair on the back <laughs> of your neck every once in a while. I, uh, I'm not opposed to believing there are some <laughs> things out there. And who wins in a fight between a lion and a grizzly? Neutral territory. Uh, the toughest. <laughs> Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? <laughs> One horse-sized duck would be a lot easier to take than a hundred duck-sized horses. That's the correct answer. Most yes. people go with the, uh, the horse-sized duck because they're like, oh, it's smaller. No, a hundred like, of them yep. swarm you. I came from Survivor where I watched some of the smallest creatures take apart some of the biggest animals those little armies of fire ants. Oh my gosh. You would feel every once in a while one bite and then a thousand bites. It was like they were all in unison. I know. You don't go, never never go against the horde. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a perfect Thank you so much for your time, Ruben. Oh, very welcome. We appreciate it.